a daughter who's a senior at the University of Colorado in Boulder, and a daughter who graduated last year who's attending a Texas A&M. So I could not be more thrilled with the education that we've received here at Bishop Dunn. When, we, when my oldest daughter was in seventh grade, we were doing our due diligence, going to every school in the city of Dallas. We had, um, we looked at every single one of them. We had the means to send them anywhere. I wasn't quite familiar with Bishop Dunn, even though it was in my own backyard. And we came here and we fell in love. My daughter actually loved it so much when she saw the technology that they had here that she requested to start eighth grade instead of waiting until ninth grade. And it's the best decision that we've ever made. And so some of the opportunities that we've received here is my oldest daughter was a member of the GIS program that they spoke about earlier. And when she was 16 years old, we have a geotech series that we had here. And we had a National Geographic explorer who came named Andres Russo. He was so impressed with our program that we had here and the abilities of our students that my daughter was given, was paid, they paid for her National Geographic then to go down to the Amazon and to map the Amazonian River for the Boiling River Project. And she has since then been published in National Geographic and in five other publications. So <laughs> she is still working as a senior in college for National Geographic, writing uh, content for their textbooks and educational programs. She does that on the side. So when, we, when she started at the University of Colorado, she, there were classes in geosciences that she wasn't able to take because they were only offered to uh, juniors and seniors there. And as a freshman, once they saw her abilities, they asked her not only to take the classes, but she's a TA for three classes there, including a graduate course, and she's the TA. So uh, she knew more going into the school than they are teaching. Now she's teaching all of their subjects for them. So I can't say enough great things about this, uh, school and its opportunities and the genuine interest that all of our teachers have in every one of these kiddos. My middle child, she graduated last year and she's attending the uh, Texas A&M in visualization and graphic animation. So mm -hmm. thanks to our school, I don't know if y'all have had the privilege of going to see the new technology labs and how we've improved them thanks to you guys and all of your donations. It is parallel to none other in the city and um, we are excited to see what these kids are doing they're solving real problems real world problems in real time and every sing single one of these kiddos feels confident in the education that they've received to go out and conquer the world and I am so grateful that we found this jewel of the school, and I'm so grateful for your support of everything that you've done here. I still have an eighth grader, so I'm excited to see what he's doing. On top of all of this, our kids have, not only have they been given these unique opportunities, but they've done all of this while still being captains of the soccer team. My daughter was captain of the soccer team, volleyball team. They played every sport. My son plays every single sport, which, you know, when you go to a bigger school, you have to pick one. They get to play them all and pursue all of their dreams, which builds their confidence and gives them life skills. Right now, we currently, I have to brag, we have in the last four years, we currently have a student at Cornell. We have a student at Brown. We have a student, a graduate at Harvard, and we have a graduate at Yale. We have a graduate who is doing her doctoral program at Columbia University. So we are, you know, making waves all over the nation and our bar is set very high. I am so grateful, grateful to you. Please continue su your support of this school because it is something that we, we're building a legacy here. So and Dorothy, thank you again. I don't again. feel like you give Marlo enough credit on that Biz Lab. So when you go to a and the Biz Lab, it's not just admission into a and like it's a separate admission process to get into Biz Lab. And most Biz Lab graduates end up animating for Disney, Nintendo. I mean, it is, it is very difficult to get into that program. And so to get into that program from this school is a huge testament to yeah. what they have poured into these kids. 
absolutely. And I will say both of my both of my kiddos were accepted. Uh, I had my oldest was waitlisted at Stanford, but that was setting the bar really high. She's still waitlisted. <laughs> they were accepted into every school that they applied to. They're in the honors program. They're making straight A's. So they have been thoroughly prepared from Bishop Dunn, and I'm so grateful. So thank you so much.